Hey man, welcome back again to another video. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> On today's episode, we're diving in once again into some Red Pill, Manosphere podcast, dating podcast cringe, okay? It seems like there's been like a turn, a sudden turn against the Red Pill. Which really, if you've been paying attention to my channel, we can see that it has not been all that sudden. From jump, a lot of motherfuckers have been saying crazy shit. And I've always made videos disagreeing with whenever they said something crazy that I saw. But now it seems to be on an upswing where people like Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate are going against Red Pill, calling the motherfuckers retarded. <laughs> there was a tweet, I think it said, I'm not Red Pill. Those guys are autistic. He said that. Or some shit. And then they see Sneeko going against Fresh and Fit and going against Rolo, the Godfather Red Pill. And it's so funny to me because like, if you really, you know, like see these niggas for real, they're not really turning against it for real. They, the stuff they're saying, especially with like the Tate, stuff they're saying is stuff they've always said. Like, it's not anything new for real. And then Sneeko, Sneeko only disagreed with the vasectomy thing and the seemingly anti-family creation. Everything else still agree with them on the regular shit, you know what I'm saying? So, it only looks like the red pill is imploding or the red pill is, people are turning us a red pill on a surface level. Uh, but if you really pay attention, you would have seen that a lot of the people's values didn't really align with certain shit in general. The men who are out here only trying to have sex with women and have no emotional connection, they're weirdos. A lot of this red pill, how to get girls stuff, a lot of them are like that as well. They're like, the, the peak masculine uh, uh, life is just to have a bunch of women that you barely know, and that, that's yeah. stupid. That's fucking ridiculous, right? Every man, if you want to have a good life, you need to have a good relationship with a good woman. When yeah. you get sick, it's your woman who's going to care, not your boys, right? But you can love her, and she can love you with all her heart. You can oh. love each other. You can be prepared to take a bullet for her. Yeah. And still fuck other bitches. That's what I'm oh, saying. Dude, you know what I'm saying? It's no big deal. Uh, but you know, once things go viral, people like to exaggerate them and, oh, look, see, da 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 da. Uh, but yeah, though, Tate's been saying what they've been saying, and Sneeko's just more on the uh, religious, I think it's on, on Islam now. So, you know, some things just not gonna line up. But, anyways, this podcast, whatever podcast, which is the white version of Fresh and Fit, I don't think I reacted to them on my channel before at all. So, this is gonna be the first time. They are going viral right now. They, they, they've had a couple clips that would go viral. But this time they went viral because they were saying some stupid ass shit. And we're going to watch it right now. It actually took me a minute. I had to dig through the, sh the actual episode to find it. Because the clip. They put a clip of that, of that scene. But they cut out the main part in the beginning. Because it was crazy. <laughs> so I had to go to Auburn Preach and find it. And, and, and like, they linked it through their, uh, on their video. So here we go. 20. And then... Um... A year into the relationship, it gets really, really abusive. From who? You, from both. This is so a, rare. Anyone, it's anyone so really. Rare. Go, on. It happens. go on, I'm just, go on. My, my point is, I'm just, yeah. Even though it might be rare from what you guys think. It is. Uh, go on. If it so, okay. Nigga just said abuse is rare. Um, statistics on, let's see, national statistics. All right. It's rare. All right. He said it's rare. This is ncadv.org oh, .org, so I can rely on it. <laughs> he says, or this says, on average, nearly 20 people per minute are physically abused by an intimate partner in the United States during one year. This equates to more than 10 million women and men. One in four women and one in nine men experience severe intimate partner physical violence, intimate partner contact sexual violence, and or intimate partner stalking with impacts of injury, PTSD, fearfulness, use of victim services, and STDs. Damn. One in three women and one in four men have experienced some form of physical violence by an intimate partner. This includes a range of behaviors from slapping, shoving, pushing. And in some cases, might not be considered domestic violence. Look at that. And the thing is, the numbers might be even more equal because uh, I don't know if you you guys have interacted with women. But <laughs> women can be just as abusive as they say men are. But men just don't talk about it as much. That's the thing. A man will just shrug it off, take it, woo woo. <sighs> Uh, so yeah, these numbers don't look very rare to me, first of all, but let's keep going. It would happen. What would you recommend for those people to do? Would they divorce or do you want them to keep going in the relationship? Keep going. You can't divorce. I mean, that's not a real thing. Uh, you can like separate. See, his Catholic background shines through. He knows. Yeah, <laughs> you, can't divorce. For real you, can, you can separate, but you can't actually divorce. That's not a real thing. Even though it might be like physically it, abusive. Because you got to endure. People are too. You want to stick in people relationship? People are just. See, I mean, look, people I'm, nowadays I'm gonna be honest. are just pussies. Everybody fucking. Uh, yeah, see what I mean? See what I mean? How this shit is, is retarded? Like, bro, what are you talking about, dude? 
What are you talking about? If you if you're in a relationship and you getting your ass beat. Okay, leave, bro. Leave. It is what it is. Just leave, bro. Motherfucker beating your ass. That's going to tell you, bro. If a motherfucker gets to the point where they're putting their hands on you and they're trying to hurt you, you got to go. Ain't no recovering from that. I know some people have, right? There are plenty of cases where that has happened and I guess they've moved on. Again, your choice is your choice, but I know plenty of people who were in. I don't, I don't know plenty of people. I know one person specifically who was in a situation like that and instead of leaving or telling anybody, they stayed and the motherfucker killed her. You know what I mean? So, you know, violence is never okay against your partner, bro. And that's common sense. And I feel like the fact that I'm even making a video talking about this is really stupid. And there's four motherfuckers here. Four motherfuckers here that's, that's, just, that's co-signing what that nigga said. Oh, my gosh. What's he going, bro? quits. Everybody gives up. It's too hard. I'm this XYZ. This is why I'm special, so I can fuck up this entire situation based upon me being special. And the reality is people just haven't learned to fucking endure. There have been hard times in relationship. I'm sure you guys had hard times in relationship. Any relationship has hard times. Okay. And it is what it is. You need to push through and you need to endure because we're in this. Abused. Hold on. Because we're, we're in this situation. Now. I don't understand what he's saying. He's saying, yeah, because that's true. People, there are a lot of people that are just pussies nowadays, right? But what the fuck does that do with getting your ass beat in a relationship? <laughs> what does that do with getting your ass beat? Be for real. That's, bro, no, bro, no. How does that mean you're being a pussy? How does that mean, oh, you don't know how to, you think you're special? You're getting beat up. By someone that's supposed to be protecting you, emotionally and physically. Now, like where everybody's just creating these like super nuanced, like one percent example of like, well, what if the kid's fucking transgender, black, and abused, and he's a Black Lives Matter supporter? Like, cool, okay, yeah. I get like that one fucking minute no, situation. For that what? Might be in that situation, what would you recommend? Okay, you you're sure. Sure. niggas like these, bro. No, niggas like these. No, stay away from niggas like these, bro. Because what the fuck are you talking about? She said, okay, yes, family's important. But what would a young girl or, or man do if they're in a relationship and they're getting beat up, they're getting abused? And it doesn't have to be just physical. It could be mentally abusive, emotionally abusive too, because that's a real thing, okay? Oh, endure, endure, endure. Until what? Until the motherfucker fucking kills you? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Tell you what I, I'll tell you what I would Endure. Do. That's I'll tell you what endure. Endure. I would do. Endure. If if my daughter was in a relationship with a guy and she gets married to him and he starts abusing her a kill year into it, I, I'm I'm gonna be showing up. You hear him? You heard what he said, right? He said, "Kill the guy." Let's play it again. The guy and she gets married to him and he starts abusing her a kill year into it. He said, it, "No hesitation, no hesitation. Kill the guy. Kill him. If it's my daughter, kill him. But if it's somebody else." Endure, endure, endure. Why didn't he say nothing to when this motherfucker, this fat dude in the suit? Why didn't he say nothing to him when he was saying endure? People are pussies. People think they're special. And this is the thing I be talking about, bro. Because I said this about Fresh and Fit, too. Some of these niggas don't... They, it's like they're scared to talk back to a man, bro. They're scared, it's, they're scared to disagree with a man, bro. Disagree, bro. You know that shit is... You know he's not making no sense, bro. Just say, bro, you wrong, bro, you wrong. You know what I mean? These motherfuckers never have smoke. And I'm not, it's not even smoke for real, but they don't like to disagree with niggas, bro. It's like they scared to disagree, even though they know it's wrong. And it might not be just off because it's another dude. It might be because they, they want to keep an image. Like, oh, you know, we all tight-knit. You know, we don't want to disagree. We don't want to, you know, look like it's it, there's infighting, shit like that. But no, like, these niggas, these niggas, I don't know why it's so hard for some of these niggas to say wrong is wrong. Just like when we talk about all these women, all these fucking females that be on social media saying co-signing bullshit. And refusing to say something wrong is wrong. These niggas doing the same shit. I don't, I don't understand it, bro. I don't understand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he gonna double down, and you you watching him double down. I was gonna say something else, and I forgot. But let's keep going. I, I'm, I'm gonna be showing up on their doorstep and teaching him some lessons. Exactly. That's that's what I would do. I okay, also would but, not um, if 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 I didn't have the you know capacity to do that for some reason i don't know i wouldn't want my daughter in that situation yeah. quite frankly and yeah. i understand the argument to endure because i have people close to me who grew up in abusive households and it lasted for periods of time and it was a phase and they endured through it and they ended up raising healthy successful families to an extent so I mean, you they the would say that families. to stick in those relationships that might be abusive to everyone involved and a child if there's a child i'm not involved. saying like hey That's stick in the extreme. relationship and get the shit beat yeah. out of you by your husband i'm not an extreme example getting beat up 
in front of kids is not a, that's not an extreme example. We just look at the statistics. So how is that extreme? Now let's say if she was being real specific, like, oh yeah, like they he be torturing her, like he he'll tie her up and then and then fucking cut her hair off. Okay, that's extreme because you're being real specific. What are you talking about? But somebody getting hit in a relationship, I mean that's that's not that extreme. You know, like if you actually be outside and you actually talk to people, especially girls, you will know that there's a lot of girls that do get beat up by weird old niggas, like weirdos. Them niggas are sick. Like that's that's it's that's facts. You, you know what I'm saying? It's not propaganda. It's not feminist propaganda to make you think all men are evil, all men are trash, because all men are not evil, right? And I'm not, you know, it's not even most men are doing that shit, because that's just that percentage of whatever, that's what's happening. It's not rare. It's not an extreme example. I'm just asking you what you believe. I'm, I'm just telling you. I, I, even I, I'm not telling you. Even if it's a small extreme thing, I'm just asking you what you think if you should stick in that relationship or not. It's, it's, it's such, it is such an extreme example that I can't give a prescription for what other people should do. There is, there is an element of, of How do you guys feel value. about that? Wow, wow. You know what this reminds me of? Sneak on Destiny on Fresh Fit. Okay, so should young men get vasectomies? Oh, well, uh, me personally, I wouldn't do it, but I can't tell it. Have it, have it, have it, have it. What the fuck is the same shit, but this is worse. He said, it, she said, if your ass is getting beat in a relationship, if a girl's getting beat in a relationship, should she leave, should she stay? Oh, uh, well, me personally, I can't tell her what to do, but come on, bro. Come on, bro. This shit got a million views. You understand that? This podcast got a million views. Whatever has four million subscribers, because they, they've been making content for a minute, but it was before they did podcasts. They did a lot of pranks and shit. But this, this is crazy. Like, why is it so hard to say, yeah, leave, bro? There's reason to divorce, bro. If somebody beating your ass, yeah, that's a reason to divorce. If somebody is, is mistreating you consistently for a long time, that's a reason for a divorce. If somebody's belittling you, it's like they don't even fucking like you, that's a reason to divorce. Why would you fucking stay with a motherfucker that hates you? Why would you stay with somebody that hates you? Why would you want to live your life like that? Now, yeah, there are people that get divorced over, like, you know, stupid shit, but that's not what we're talking about in this case. <laughs> hold on, hold on. There is an element of value. Endure, endure! But I, all I can tell you is what I would do as, How do you guys feel as about, a father do you guys all a daughter have in a situation like, like that. Do you have opinions about third trimester abortion? It's yes. terrible. Listen, it, it's okay, okay. terrible. Look at how quickly you can do it. Do you know how rare third trimester abortions are? They're also really yeah, fucking rare. Are. But you immediately had a visceral reaction to that, yeah. right? There are households where parents are abusive to children. Like, that's not like an unfathomable thing. But for you to have that immediate visceral reaction to a type of abortion, that's so incredibly rare. But yeah, then when but it's I like, mean, we're well, talking about have... like a guy like getting drunk and like, you know, beating, a, beating be his drunk, wife occasionally even... versus like. No somebody... one said that though. No one said getting drunk and being somebody, talking about somebody that's beating their ass. Simple. I like that Destiny did that. Destiny be listening. Destiny be listening. And then why is that girl making that face in the back? <laughs> Destiny be listening and, and ask a question that like. That uses their same logic against them or, or makes them look at themselves or what they just said or did. Now, see, even though I don't agree with Destiny on some shit, I, I fought with like uh, how he knows how to maneuver in conversations like this to get someone to expose what they really think for real. Or get them to question what they really think and get the audience to hear it for themselves, right? But sometimes you got to write things out for the audience. It is what it is. Puncturing a woman's stomach with a needle and injecting euthanasia into the baby's eye socket. I'm it's just like saying, all I'm saying is that thing. third trimester and abortion murder. is incredibly rare. But you have a visceral immediate reaction to that. But to hypothesize on could there but, possibly be. Well, okay, so, 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 so yeah. let, let me ask you guys in the Catholic Church, I know that there's like annulments for marriages and stuff. Are there that no. That was a mistake. Are there no exceptions for like if a guy is beating his wife constantly? No, there are, but now. Or a uh, woman could as well, right? Hold on, hold on. Well, there's yeah. also yes, a distinction could, drawn between. If a, a woman's beating a dude, that Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys a civil divorce, a legal divorce, and an actual divorce of a marriage. It, it, there's a distinction drawn in the Catholic Church where it's excusable to get a divorce in the legal sense. I mean, look, I'll just, I'll, 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 I'll say this. I, I know there's like the Christian like that position answer. and all that kind of stuff. If, if a woman is in a situation where she's getting the shit beat out of her by her husband and like he might kill her, yeah, she should leave the marriage, in my opinion. Okay, good. But statistically, good, good. Finally, he said it. But why did it take so long for her for him to say that shit? You know what I mean? Finally, he agreed. But after back and forth, he finally agreed. And but he still, uh. like that's not what it is. It's kind of like with the abortion anom anomaly. 
that's not like the majority of abortion. So let's like talk Anomaly. about what actually happens and what actually happens. I think he meant um, analogy. <laughs> happens when people are getting divorced isn't these types of scenarios. It's like literally initiated. You'll probably know the stat between two thirds and eighty percent of the time by women. And the plurality of that reason is they feel unfulfilled. They want a new chapter in their life. It's like the yeah. eat, pray, love phenomenon. Yeah. That should be outlawed. You legally actually should not be able to do that. Also, yeah, but then again, I'm going to say the exact same thing I said before. Where, or sorry, finish. Sorry, fifty six percent of the time with divorces, mm -hmm. uh, one or both spouses cite pornography as one of the Real. reasons why their relationship has to come to an end. An irreconcilable difference. I'm what's gonna, the, gonna, what's the percent? Whoa, fifty six percent. You know, I never really looked up reasons for why uh, divorces happen. So I'm actually going to do it right now. You know, I like looking shit up in the middle of the video. Reasons why people divorce. Can I see a percentage? Let's see. Okay, this is eh, 2013. Divorce.com. Jesus Christ. When is this? Uh, 2023. Updated April 12, 23. Okay. What are the most common reasons for that? Is this fairly subjective question? Because the reasons people get divorced are as diverse as the reasons they fell in love in the first place. Yada, 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 yada. Even as the overall divorce rate is decreasing among adults ages 16 to 65, approximately 45% of the marriages still end in divorce. I think divorce rates are decreasing because marriage rates are decreasing as well. People aren't getting married as much. Yeah, the thing is because people are just people, bro. It's hard to get along. It's just hard to get along for a long amount of time, bro. Especially with so many different things that affect us mentally. So I'm really not surprised. Look at the mental health that be around. You got motherfuckers running outside screaming that that they got their pronouns are desires. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's the correlation between that? The correlation is motherfuckers is crazy. That's the correlation. So it's it's hard for people to just get along with one person. Let's see. Is there percentages in this? No, I want percentages. Oh, okay. Here it is. Okay. Lack of commitment, 75%. Hmm. That, it doesn't say between men or women, though, so, hmm, I wish you could break it down even more. Because I know women women do start, uh, enact divorces more than men do. You know, you can't really you can't really make any narratives based off of that. You can hypothesize, but I need more information to make a narrative. Infidelity, so that's cheating is the next reason. Too much conflict in the family, so just arguing, fighting. Young age at marriage, so what, they felt like they're too young or some shit? Financial issues, okay. Drugs, domestic violence. Okay, okay. Oh, so look, it's it's twenty percent of divorces from people that get that are getting abused. The thing is though, a lot of people who do suffer abuse in relationships, they don't they don't leave. You know what I'm saying? I know if I I know one of them is on the podcast probably would have used that as like a you know what I'm saying, excuse. But a lot of people who get abused, they don't leave. They don't leave. Severe diseases, da 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 da. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay, okay. Hold on, what's the percent of abor uh, not abortions, divorces that are initiated by women, Brian? 78. 80%. 78. Yeah, 80%. 80%. And what percentage of those women have college degrees? Well, it jumps to 90% if they're college educated. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You guys misquote that all the time. The percentage of divorces by women with college degrees is lower as they have more education. But of the women that have college degrees, when they have divorces, there's a higher percentage. So just to be clear, you're better off marrying a woman with a college degree than not because those marriages have a higher success rate. But when divorces happen, they have a higher... You guys, I hear that stat. That's interesting. They have a higher success rate? Enabled a lot on these shows, but... Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, I, agree, another, I agree with that. I want to ask but, one okay. more scenario, okay? <laughs> they ain't fight back against that shit. <laughs> it's funny. Ima <clears throat> Imagine like I just said some bullshit and they be like, they can they can fact check it on the spot. So they be like, oh yeah, I agree, yeah. <laughs> A lot of times if you just say something confident, niggas just believe you, bro. What Jesus. about if uh, two people sorry. get married, sorry, they have a kid, and then the wife starts cheating? Do you think they should divorce? Absolutely. They should yeah. divorce then? <laughs> Jesus himself you don't said. Think it wasn't Jesus, hold on, hold on. Jesus himself said. And you could like said, work things through, right? Jesus himself ah. said that in the cases of adultery, divorce is So you think the divorce is worse than physical abuse? No. For the children? For cheating, sorry. You think that cheating is worse than physical abuse? abuse. For the sorry. children, yes. Absolutely I, th I think, not. I think Wait, I'm not going to say this is worse than Divorce is worse for the children. I already said that if a woman's getting abused, yeah, I think she should leave. Like... Yeah. I mean, if it's a, if it's yeah, he said that, but look at the immediate reaction. The immediate reaction. As soon as she said this thing about ab abuse, abuse, he said, "Oh, it's so rare. It's so rare. It's so rare." <laughs> then she brought up cheating. Oh yeah, nah, get out of there. What the fuck? The Bible says. <laughs> it's so funny. It's funny, bro. Like yo, if you get your ass beat, leave, bro. There's no point in staying. You know what I'm saying? Get some help. It says right there. Get some help. Get out of there. If you're cheating, 
same shit. Get out of there. Like, bro, you know, if, but if you're willing to deal with that, that's on you. But nine times out of 10, it's probably not best to deal with that shit. It's a, a brief temporary thing. Like what if it's mental abuse? <sighs> okay. Now it's less cut and dry. The thing that I'm noticing too is that, okay, their reactions is based off of, um, like if they're, if, if the situation immediately doesn't benefit them, then it's then it's whatever endure. But if it's something that effectively that directly affects them, like if they girl cheated on them, oh yeah, divorce, out of here. If uh, if their daughter was one in a, a uh, relationship getting beat up, oh yeah, now I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. But in general, if it got nothing to do with them, yeah, whatever, endure, deal with it. <laughs> to be fair, he didn't say if it was uh, they didn't specify if it was like roles reverse, like man or woman, woo woo. You know what I'm saying? If it's you are setting like your abuse. child right. up for failure as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, this is terrible for kids. Uh, abuse, all types of bad... Listen. One of the main things that's important in a relationship to make sure it stays a positive, good relationship is the children. It's the children. That's one of the main things. Because kids pick up behaviors. So they watch how you... How mommy interact with daddy. How daddy interact with mommy. They see that shit and they internalize it. They keep it in here. Sometimes they don't even realize it. Until they grow up and maybe go to therapy or whatever. But they the shit they see, the behaviors they see, they replicate. Monkey see, monkey do, monkey do, monkey see. Okay, you feel me? So, yeah, so the fat niggas talking about, oh, it, oh, it doesn't matter, da, da, da. Like, bro, no. Stupid okay, shit. Now it's it's less cut and dry. Who is this nigga? I don't like him, bro. I really don't like him. You're a right. child up for failure as well if you stay in like these abusive Look, marriages. That's not true. Look. Yes, it is because you're literally every single psychologist. We can like Google it right now yeah. if you want. We'll agree that oh, you're the patterns that you have at home are going to replicate in their future, right? So if that's this true. child gets used to seeing their other loved ones and probably them being talked down upon, um, being treated badly, they normalize that behavior. So you're it does them, it does get passed down generations. Yeah. Yeah. You're correct. Get to me. You're setting but, them but, up but, but to for go, failure to, again, in the workplace is, and relationships. I just want you, I just want you guys to understand this is like the reason why I sit on this podcast and like extol the virtues that I do is because it's like I think we need more righteous biblical masculinity in the world where you actually have good men that are going to be good leaders of their households. Oh, They're no. not going to beat their wives or emotionally or mentally abuse them or any of these things. Like that's why cool. I continue to do this podcast with Brian because we need to make men great again so, so that we don't have these situations yeah, no. continue but, to yeah. Yeah. But You're talking about liberal men who would get probably, epically triggered facts. like but snowflakes. But there's, but there's and they'd be, be like, you're equal to me. I'm yeah, going to yeah, beat there, you up. But there's probably going to be cases where there are like really, really... What the fuck? <laughs> I don't like that nigga either. <laughs> you know, you know, hey, man, this nigga's squares, bro. This nigga's squares, bro. This nigga's square as hell. Listen, listen, listen. What the fuck? I, I am no fan of liberals myself, personally, Okay. But your ideology does not determine whether you're going to beat your girl ass or not, okay? It could be a conservative dude, a liberal dude, a Democrat dude, or a Republican dude. That shit don't matter. If you're a bad person, if you got problems, that's not going to stop. Whatever you, what, whatever you, wherever you align, don't determine if you're sick or not. Because there's plenty of fucked up people on both sides, whatever. It's humans. Human behavior. Humans do fucked up shit. It is what it is. Shut up. I can tell this nigga's like an edgelord type of dude, bro. Oh, my gosh. Really horrible marriages and my question is would you recommend those people to like choose happiness and like divorce and try to like be on their own because being in the relationship makes them really really unhappy maybe even suicidal who knows do you think they should rather stay just because they but you're swore, trying to you're, you're you're taking, they should go to you're church and a, return to god like you're taking a very so very yeah, issues but I don't, go away yeah, you're taking a very wait, 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 hold on. let's say if your partner is being really 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 bad to you and there's like so many things that he needs he needs therapy but he's not doing it do you think that the wife in that case should stick around for that, even though it might be really bad for her and the yeah. and the child? Um, but you're, you're taking to stick a, around you're for taking that? an yeah, extremely niche. Hold on, you're yeah. taking an extremely oh my gosh. niche example. You are. I don't think I, that is not niche, bro. Shut shut the fuck up. Oh my gosh. Walmart. I think there's a lot of so listen. You're taking an extremely that, niche that, example, and you're blanket statementing it for like the entire I'm solution not, I'm not saying of divorce. I think that I, think I mean you are be, though. No, no, no. I'm not saying. But you're saying like, no, 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 what no, if wait, the wait, wait, guy wait. is like beating the wife? Yeah, I'm asking And then you like you the kids are like fucking responding. They love Black Lives Matter. Because I never, because I never talk. Yeah, why you keep bringing up Black? The second time nigga brought up Black Lives Matter. What's up with this dude? Who is this nigga, bro? I don't like him. I don't like him. I can talk about that shit, okay? Because I'm talking from, you know what I'm saying, from experience. What the fuck is this nigga talking about? This nigga talking from shit he's seen on the TV, okay? 
Why do you keep bringing up Black Lives Matter for? What does that have to do with the... They said the kid's retarded. What are you talking about? That's nothing to do with her scenario. You know what? This is a tactic that motherfuckers do. They make light of the... Someone can make a very serious point, right? A serious point that makes sense. A genuine question. He don't want to concede. He does not want to concede to the woman. Oh my gosh. So instead, he makes jokes. He makes a... He like exaggerates it as if it's something ridiculous that she said. She didn't say anything ridiculous. Right? Nothing she said was ridiculous. But he's trying to make it seem like it's ridiculous for his audience to lap it up and laugh. Hee hee ha ha ha. And this is why I don't like mufflers like that. Because very disingenuous. Listen to what the fuck she's saying. Because either you're being disingenuous or you're just stupid as fuck. You're just dumb as fuck. Because I don't know how anyone could say... We're talking about a scenario, which is real, which happens. It's not some rare thing. There's plenty of people that get their ass beat relationships, okay? And instead of addressing like, oh, yeah, no, that's fucked up. Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't be in a situation like that. Oh, no, it's rare. It doesn't matter. It's rare. But again, what Destiny said earlier, what, how do you feel about third trimester abortions? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, my gosh. But those are rare, too. Motherfuckers don't be doing that shit like that. <laughs> that's crazy. But you had an immediate reaction. But you don't have an immediate reaction to this shit. And this nigga, this nigga, uh, Chris, you know, all that, 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 that Christian shit, I'm a man of God shit. You know, you're not fooling me, buddy. You're not fooling me. Because there are a lot of people that say that shit as an excuse. They say it as a cover. They say it because that's their identity. A lot of people treat religion just like the, the same way that a lot of these gender identity motherfuckers treat they, they pronouns as a religion, okay? They do the same way where there's no, no critical thinking, no common sense. It's just like, this is what my doctrine says, so I'm just going to follow it to a T and not adjust it to whatever situation I'm in. Niggas said go to church and y'all your problems go away. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> that's crazy. That's that's the same shit with, with black people, bro. Black people are like, oh yeah, just pray, pray. Pray your problems away. Yes, just pray and vote Democrat. All your problems will be solved. Nigga, what are you talking about? You're doing the same shit. Oh my gosh, bro. They're going to piss me off. They're going to piss me off, bro. I never see you conservatives <laughs> talk about problems like this. That won't, I'm like, not a conservative, first of all. Okay, How dare you assume see, my political affiliation? Because you keep fucking talking about Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, transgender, Black Lives Matter. So you sound pretty conservative. You're At least you're anti that side. You know what I'm saying? So it's not crazy for someone to assume that. Second, he brought a black lives matter two times for no reason. No one even talked about race issues or nothing. <laughs> like this, that won't, I'm like not that a conservative, first of all. Okay, How dare you assume see, my political I never affiliation? See you talk about problems Wait, that might happen in America after you get married. I, think, I always it's, see it's you guys talk well. about. I always see you guys talk about how you get there and all these things. But when it actually comes to like happiness and like mental health. I never see you talk about any of it. And like, this is what's why, a new situation? Is a Nalina, I want to make yeah. the point. This is why I tell people that they need to find God and go to church because it's like all of these problems that you're describing, if somebody authentically has a relationship with Christ and they're living in alignment with the word, like it's going to mitigate 99% I, yes, of these issues. But I issues. do know conservatives that is going yeah, to church there's, there's and they still there. abuse their partners. Fiz and wait, 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 you, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm asking if you're going to stick so, up. Wait, Shut wait. the fuck up, nigga, let her talk. Fuck. You know conservative. And what would you say? Would you tell them to divorce or would you tell them to time stick Time out, time out. You Shut the fuck up. You say well, you know conservative men right now that are beating their wives? No, I'm saying that they probably exist, right? I mean, I'm asking you, what would you say to help those cases? What would you cases? say to liberal men who are beating their wives? Yeah, but it's not the same. Yeah, yeah. Stop beating her. Yeah, but it's hey, hey, hey! I'm gonna turn this shit off. Okay, I'm gonna turn this shit off, bro. It's a lot easier as a liberal if you're non-religious to just divorce, like, right? The point, but but the, if you're really, really religious... Yes, exactly. Like really liberals is, is quick to divorce, right? Because they're very liberal. It's quick to divorce. Cool. We're talking about specific conservatives because they're more traditional. Divorce is not a thing, right? Just like Deuce said earlier, divorce is not even a thing. That's not even a thing. That's what he said earlier. So why the fuck are you trying to... Like, shut the fuck up. I don't like these people, bro. Heavily, and you have a lot of pressure from your parents and, like, society if you, or, like, the group that you're coming from, the culture... It's going to be a lot harder for you to divorce because but you have the pressure like a, to stick. You're because like you guys a, are saying like, no matter what happens, you stick in the marriage, even though it might be wait, but again, really like to go, mental to go, damage. Melina, so, right? so, right? Melina, to go back to the point, wisely. Nev, one second, to go back to the point that I was making, mm -hmm. you know, encouraging people to go to church. If somebody's in a situation like that, this is a concern that ought to be brought before the church and taken care of with the elders and the other people that are there. And like, let's say John is beating his wife, right? And his wife comes to the church leadership and she's like, hey, like, this is a problem. With two black I eyes. I want to divorce him. Like, hey, you know, at, at that point ass. in time, the church leadership can step in and be like, yo, John, why are you beating your wife? Which honestly, <laughs> I appreciate them asking. A lot yeah. of institutions mm -hmm. wouldn't do that. True. Yeah, there might and, be valid and, reasons. And, and they yeah. ought to. And and this is this I've is already a, told her twice. A, this like. is a positive. This is a pod positive social pressure that comes with. See, normally I would laugh at a joke like that, but the way these niggas, their opinions, it, you know, it's made me feel like the joke is not really like. 
Not saying that they would be beating their wives, but nah, they probably would. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> The way they acting, bro, they probably would beat and beat motherfucking ass, bro. I don't, I really don't care, bro. Look how they acting. Look how they acting. Look at the responses to the questions. Very simple questions they can't answer. The body of Christ and like actually being involved, right? Like, there's so many benefits to people seeking God and going to church and like being a part of a community like that, where a situation like you're describing arising, like there's going to be a ton of social accountability. But when people are atomized and they're separated from the rest of their community and stuff, and they're, you know, they have like a secular conservative home. You don't have that social net to like protect people. People used to get lynched for doing things like that. <gasps> I think the issue Did is that like in that? the broadest, <laughs> in, the most, in the most macro broadest sense, I think the big disagreements is it feels like on our side, it feels like we're talking about relationships like they're meant to be enjoyed and you guys are talking about relationships like they're meant to be enjoyed. All right, listen, I'm not watching any more of that, okay? Because I don't care anymore. Uh, but we got, you saw the main gist of it. You saw the main points of contention. If you want to watch the rest, you can. I'll put the link in the thing. Um... As you can see, a lot of these motherfuckers is clowns, bro. They just be saying stupid shit that obviously is wrong, right? I don't got to break it down again. You just watch this whole video. Uh, yeah, if you're in a situation and you're getting abused by your partner, bro, leave, bro. It is what it is, bro. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? If, if your girl cheat on you, bro, leave, bro. If your dude cheat on you, bro, you should probably leave, bro. It is what it is. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's, it, it's just stupid. It's stupid. Yeah, going to church is not going to solve all your problems, bro. The Bible itself says, faith without action is dead. I don't remember what verse that was, but that's in the Bible. A lot of these motherfucking Christian freak motherfuckers will make you make you think that, oh, all you have to do is pray and, and all your problems going to be solved. All you got to do is go to church and all your problems going to be solved. Nigga, praying is part of it. You got to pray and you got really have to think and change your behavior. You have to change your behavior as well. You are in control of your life. That's why God gave us free will. So you have the will to, to change shit and make shit happen, okay? So all this other shit is just excuses. Oh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just go to church and all my problems will go away. No, nigga, no. You got you to gotta make the change. You got to be the change. Oh, my gosh, bro. And the fact niggas trying to use that as, in, as a... As a <laughs> in, the, in the context of uh, whether to stay or leave in an abusive relationship. Insane. Hey, man, but I appreciate y'all watching, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Um, I'm getting really tired of these motherfuckers, bro. These these niggas in general, these are the type of niggas that the the crazy feminazis, the crazy feminists. They these are the niggas they be talking about, and it's not a good look at all. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.